I'd like to introduce Church and Hate and his trainer, Justin Silvers. Justin has been working with American Saddlebreds for the past 13 years with prior experience working with quarter horses. He was kind enough to take time out of his busy training day to tell me about the horses and what he does. Um, to me, Saddlebreds, they're, they're a little more game, but they're, they seem to be more versatile. Um, there are so many different things, different avenues. Um, they're just, they seem to be a more usable horse. And they're very, very intelligent. If they're so versatile, what are you looking for when you're training? We want our horses to be more animated. For those of you that don't know, animation is how high the horse is lifting its legs. So what's the process to make that picture happen? We'll just start, you know, we'll evaluate and see what we have. And, um, you know, as they come on and, and start to change and, and develop, then we'll then we'll start kind of focusing in on things and figuring out where we think they'll work best. Where can we put this individual where they can be competitive uh, and shine in that particular place? But you have to let them tell you. Um, you know, you can't you can't make them be something that they're not. Um, you don't. These things don't have to go to a horse show every day. A lot of times, you just need to get them out, and work on some things, and exercise. They're not going to look like to look at a horse show every single day they come out of the stall. So how do you get them to the point where they are going to the horse show? You have to take your time. Um, these things, they all learn differently. Um, some of them learn quicker, some of them don't. Um, and sometimes that has to do with, with their breeding, but a lot of times it just has to do with, with your approach. Can always outthink a horse, but you can, you'll never be able to outmuscle one. And I think that's where where a lot of people they get messed up. They try to use brawn instead of the brain. Um, but that's that's the basic thing: is take your time, go slow, and they'll let you know when they're ready to, to do something else. And um, sometimes you just you just need to take these things and let them have a break and, and start back. And basically, what I mean by horse telling you if they're ready is how they're responding to what you're doing and if if that method is working or if, if it's not working if they're catching on if they're making progress if they're not then everything about training a horse is communication communication that's all it is is communicating that the person communicating with the animal and getting them to do what you want them to do that's all it's about is communicating so basically, in essence, what we're doing is teaching the animal to communicate with us through our body, and you know, our hands up to the reins and their mouth, everything that we're just doing. Thank you, Justin. I love the connection back to communication. Is there anything else that you want to share? Yeah, sure. Please forgive my accent.